See? See? I'm growing the very important cactus. You know who you are. Also, yes, we do have a visitor. Hi, buddy. Wait, leave a name down below in the comments. Um, maybe Bob? Something like that? Maybe? I don't know. Brian? Hmm. Anyways, welcome back to All About 7 to the Sky. Today is going to be a very interesting episode because we are going to be exploring some dimensions. But before we can do that, I do want to make a little bit of preparation work. But before we do that, I want to show you some stuff off camera. So, uh, this machine has been working absolute overtime and look how much redstone we have. I, I don't think we're going to run out anytime soon, at least. Uh, also, I don't know if I showed this in the last episode. I don't think I did. I expanded this setup right here. And so now this should... Yep, this is running 100% efficient. And we got 11 netherite scrap. And I've already used four to make a netherite ingot, just like that. So this system is working awesome. And however, we still do have some power generation issues. I don't... I think we have just enough power to run everything but it's using absolutely everything that we are generating so yeah once again we need to improve that but that, that's not right now that we've done enough of power and machining it's time to do some adventuring but like i said i want to do a little bit of preparation work one of those being a backpack because inventory space is going to be something that we definitely don't want to run out of so i'm gonna need a little bit of do i not have string Oh dear. Um, well, I, I know how to get string, but I, I, I would have thought that I had string. But kind of... No, actually, I used it all for mesh. You know what? That makes sense. Thankfully, in this pack, it is very easy <laughs> to get a large amount of string. And so now, with that, we should be able to go ahead and make a backpack. And if I just equip this uh, some somewhere, I, I don't know. Ah, but no. Wait. That's, that's not... Aha! In here. Perfect. <laughs> there we go. It's on my person and I can press B to open up the backpack. I think we can upgrade uh, the, the, the backpack, if I could spell right. We can upgrade it with a bunch of stuff like pickup upgrade, advanced pickup upgrade and whatnot. I would think we can upgrade the, the capacity though as well. Hmm, doesn't look like it. What we can do though, maybe there's a way I just don't see it. What we can do, though, is we can go ahead and dye it, which I want to go ahead and do. There we go. We got a cyan backpack, which fits with the, me. Yep, perfect. Backpack slot. Would you look at that? Okay, it doesn't really fit with the diamond, but it's going to fit when we get some different armor going. Oh, wait a minute. We can upgrade it. Iron backpack. Oh. Okay, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Iron backpack, gold backpack, diamond... Okay, we should, we should actually be able to get this thing all, all the way leveled up. Hold on a minute. I should have... Yeah, I've been I've been busy smelting a bunch of ores as well. We should be able to upgrade this all the way. Also, something I did for the sieving thing here in the diamond chest, I set up the ore chunks like this because I was sick of getting like all these appetite and cinnabar and whatnot filling up the chest, basically hindering things entering it. So this way I'm only getting the stuff that I want and so far it is actually working really, really well. All I need to do is go ahead and empty it every now and then. What are you doing outside of your booth? Get back in there. But I think we can now get this to iron, then get this to gold and then get this to diamond. And then I assume if we go ahead and grab another right ingot, then I need to make a smithing table real quick. I'm running out of space of for stuff here. So if I put this here, netherite backpack, oh yeah, it, it now has a slider even. Okay, yep, that that's that's a huge upgrade right there. I answered my own question from earlier. Now something that I really quickly would like to try out is the feral flare lantern, places invisible lights. It's fairly easy to make. I should have everything that I need for it. Uh, granted, I have glowstone. I do, and I also do have gold. I want to see how well it actually works. I'll probably need a few, so I'll make like three. I don't know the radius of this thing. Well, let's let's start with one. So if I place it like, can I place it like under the island? That's a question I have, and that I intend to try and find out. So if I place it there, is it going to place lights here? If I remove all these torches, 
Let's just try this. This could potentially be a little bit dangerous, but we'll try it. This is for science, people. What the... What's that? Wait, what? What's going on here? What was that? I am so confused. I do see lights being placed, though. I think. Yep. Maybe. Unless it's the furnace turning on and off. It's the furnace turning off and on and off. Okay. I guess it can't sit... I guess it can't sit under the island. I guess that kind of makes sense. Let's try and make another one. Good thing they're not expensive. So if I place it here then. It should start placing lights. Around the base. It is. I'm seeing lights popping up around here actually. Okay. Well I'm going to leave that there to work. And hopefully it's going to light this entire place up. That would be kind of nice. Now the final thing that I have been preparing for is for us to be able to make some jetpacks because as we saw in the nether it's one huge void so we want to be able to fly to the uh, fortress that we saw in the last episode and in general flying in a skyblock is kind of cool I want to expand my base uh, downwards so getting a, a jetpack is really going to help us in that regard so I have prepared a bunch of stuff here oh yeah I also wanted to make a pack so uh, let's make that first actually let's go ahead and make that first should be very easy Boom, diamond pack, so, and if I put that together with some uh, right, scrap and some gold, I'll be able to make this into a netherite pack, so, just like that. Of course, it doesn't have any enchantments on it, but it does mean that we do actually get an extra free inventory, two actually, extra free inventory slots, which is always very welcome. But yes, now for the jetpacks, as you can see, I have a bunch of ingredients here ready, and that is because... I think uh, I got everything ready almost oh yes because I wanted to show some of this because we need to make some bronze so I have tin and I have copper which together it makes bronze and now I need to smelt that now this is just a bronze jet pack it can hold 100,000 FE we can move on to tier 2 if we make it into an envar uh, which I have some envar right here and I also have some more envar blend that I prepared and hopefully that's going to be enough. And the next one is the Electrum Jetpack, which we should also be able to make if we make some Electrum Dust, which we can do just like so. And I'm going to have to steal you, sir. Uh, that's actually really annoying. Let's put that in there. And we'll need all of these basic coils and advanced coils. We need redstone, leather as well. And yeah, this should be actually fairly easy to craft. And as you saw, I just put this portal charm in my inventory, and that's because we had a wandering trader come by uh, in between episodes, and he was selling this. And apparently it allows me to tra travel instantly through portals. I'm not sure how it's going to work. Um, but it, we, we're going to find out. I don't know where to put this. Charm, there we go. So apparently I should instantaneously... In, instantan... Inst word... You know what I mean. I should be able to instantly travel between portals without the loading screen, I assume? I guess we'll find out soon. Man, this redstone furnace is way quicker than the golden furnace. I think we should be able to make a diamond furnace, right? Yep, we can make a diamond furnace and then it'll probably be a whole lot quicker. I should probably do that, to be honest. But here we go, that's all of our electrum. Hopefully, I think I've calculated correctly. We should have plenty. <laughs> <laughs> or we should have just enough to be able to make this. I can actually go ahead and make a gold to diamond upgrade. Oh, I need two glass. Why? Why? Come on now. There we go. Uh, gold to diamond. I should be able to make this. And then just right click it on there. Maybe. Like so. And I don't know how quicker it is. Oh, it's much faster. Oh wow, yep, that was definitely worth it. But now to make some components for the jetpack, we will need a bronze capacitor, which is a bunch of energy cells. And I think we'll need five, if I'm not mistaken. So the capacitor first off, then we need the thrusters, which is this right here. So we'll need actually two furnaces. We'll actually need a lot more furnaces for the jetpacks as well, but that's fine. Uh, so we need two 
thrusters, and with that, we got the very first tier of jetpack, our first flight indeed. But of course, we're not gonna stop there, we're gonna skip directly to the Invar, so we're gonna need five of these batteries yet again. We need another Invar capacitor, and then two Invar thrusters, and with that, we have an upgraded jetpack tier 2. Now we can go ahead and continue this essentially. Same thing, four, uh, five Electrum uh, cells there. We got two Electrum thrusters. Uh, now we made the capacitor, there we go. And boom, Electrum jetpack which can hold two million FE. Wow. And we unlocked some stuff in here as well. Somewhere, there we go, our first flight. Done, got a little bit of XP from that. Very, very cool. Now we just need to charge this, which I can just place it in... Hmm. How, how do I... <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I thought I could just place it in here, but I can't. Um, that, that, that's an issue. <laughs> so this is one way, I don't know why. I can't just put it in here, I guess this is for something else. Um, but we can go ahead and make a charge pad from Mechanism, and it's actually, normally we would need to get a little bit into any, uh, Mechanism, but we do have two infused alloys, which should be all we need in order to make this. I just need a little bit more resources, and we should hopefully be good to go and make this. So I need an energy tablet, just like so. I'm also going to need some blackstone uh, trapdoors, I'm pretty, uh, not trapdoors, uh, I think I need powder, polished, yes, polished, gonna need a little bit of that, clear that, need three of those, and then I need some steel, and just like that, we should be able to make a charge pad, and all we need to do is place this onto the network, this is getting power, and all we need to do is now stand on this, and this it starts slowly getting power. Now, of course, all the machines are taking up some of the power, but if we just do that, this thing is getting filled up at a pretty decent rate. So all we need to do now is sit here and wait a little bit, which I suppose is a great time for me to say. If you're new here to the channel, be sure to subscribe and have those notifications turned on so you don't miss another episode. And if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave it a like. Helps out the channel a ton. All right, Jetpack is now fully charged. So I think... Engine is on. Oh, yeah. Question is, do I take... Yeah, I do take fall damage, so I do need to... Whoa, I can fly fast. Whoa, that's almost scary. <laughs> that is scary, actually. Oh, wow. It's super, super fast. Wow, okay, so I can actually... I can decrease the throttle... By a lot. Which also, I think changes how much power it actually uh, consumes. Fuel usage 160 FE per tick. I don't know if that changes when you change the throttle. There's also hover mode, which basically tries to keep you hovered as much as possible. And I mean, that's just, that's just beautiful. <laughs> that is just beautiful right there. Okay. Uh, and from that, how much power to use? Uh, 100,000. So it's not infinite. However, there are other uh, jetpacks that we can actually make. Uh, we just have the Electrum here. There's a Signalium as well. And then an Enderium in uh, too. Uh, the Signalium, we can't actually make that just yet, I don't think. I mean, we can make this. Um, but what we can't make is these Elite Coils. We need quite a few of these. We need three per thrusters. And then we need one for that, which is quite a quite a few diamonds. So I'm gonna wait a little bit till we are not as poor when it comes to diamonds. But this uh, is amazing uh, as it is. So yeah, that that's a huge upgrade. And I think with that, we are ready to head into the next dimension. Uh, I do wonder. So no, no, that diamond is fine. Let us go. Uh, two. I can turn the engine off when I don't need to use it. Let's head to the nether and take a look at that fortress. Okay, I feel like that was actually more instant than... Oh, it removes the, the swirly thing. It just enters me directly. Okay, let's open the map. Over here is a fortress. Let's go here 
Um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> let's let's make a waypoint fortress, and I'm also going to make a waypoint here. Home portal. There we go. So I don't know what direction I need to go. I assume up is north, so the fortress would be southwest, right? So I'm going to do something very scary here. I'm going to turn on the engine. We're going to enable this. Oh, I see. I see. I see it here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Huge. Whoa. I should have made a shield. Why didn't I make a shield? Why did I not make a shield? Okay. Well, we're here. Please go away. Don't kill me right off the bat. That would be kind of not cool. You guys are fine, right? Yeah, you guys are fine. What did we get? A bunch of cool stuff. Okay. And so because there's nothing else around here, that means basically that there's a lot more monsters here. Ooh, we got a Will Skelter skull, skull. Awesome. And we have another ward. We need that. But yeah, this place is basically crawling with monsters. And um, it's a bit... Da you have bows? Excuse me? You're not supposed to have a bow, sir. You're really not supposed to have a bow. I don't want to die here. That's actually really bad. Hold on. Didn't think this through. If I die here, I won't be able to get back. I won't be able to get to my items. Um, let's just get a few things here and just get out of here as fast as humanly possible. Uh, can I just, yep, break this. Break this. Um, I'm sure there's treasure here and whatnot too, but I don't, I don't really want to die. Hello. <laughs> Dying wouldn't be ideal for this situation, like at all. So if I could not do that, that would be kind of nice. Okay, that's a lot here. I kind of want some blaze rods. Ow. Okay, that hurt. I got a bunch of other stuff. Oh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's. Oh, that's what happened at my base. It's a uh, kind of hello Halloween season around here. So, or at the time of recording this, I should say. That's a lot of you. That's a lot of you. Oh, quest completed. I really, just want. Ow. Yeah, like I said, if I die, very bad. It's gonna be very bad. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. I got a blaze rod. 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 Whew. I want more though. I want more and I probably need more as well. Ooh. I just hope he doesn't come this way. That's all I really ask for here. And what did I get? A magical lollipop? Ow. The effects are unpredictable. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna eat that. Okay. Got him. Okay, I got another blaze rod. I think that's enough for what I might want to make later. Um, I'm scared of this place, so I think... That's it. I'm not gonna look too much into... Oh, but yeah, that's, a, that's another thing there. Um, I just want to see maybe there's some treasure or something. I just don't want to get cornered here. We really don't want to get cornered. And the lollipops are also a little bit scary. I don't want to... Okay, yeah, I think... I think... I think that's that. If we need something, we'll be back for it. Um, Yeah, I, I need better gear. <laughs> uh, okay, lower the throttle. And slow and steady. Okay. There we go! Trip to the nether completed! We got some necro bones, wither skull fragments, which we can use to make uh, wither skulls. Yeah! Nice! That wasn't too bad. I also got some sort of quest. Somewhere. Bounty board. Aha! What's this one? Kill 10 wither skulls. Okay. That's cool. Oh, and we've got soul sand, finally. <laughs> Would you look at that? Excuse me? Oh, you. Can I kill you? No. Okay. Imagine that jump scare happened if you jumped in, if you, like, stepped into it. That would be... 
That would be not ideal. Now we're not done exploring because that was just uh, that was that was just one dimension. We need something from the Twilight Forest. I didn't just make this portal because it's cool to be in this dimension. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna take these mushrooms. Um, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't just go here because it's a cool dimension. I went here because that's actually something that we need from this place. Question is where it is. Oh dear, frame rate. Calm down. Calm down. There is an ore called all the Madium right here, which is basically really, really useful, both in making cool armor, but also in making a bunch of other very useful things as well. And I want to get this old Madium. And this dimension is pretty much, I believe, the only place or one of the only places that you can get it. Um, it, it says here, found in mountain biomes, in cave walls and ceilings. Uh, with additional deposits in peaks above 170. So it doesn't say which dimensions. It might only be the Twilight Forest in this pack. I'm not 100% sure. And as it does say, though, player mineable only, not quarryable. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we want to go to this dimension. Because this dimension... That's a mega maze. I don't want to go in that direction. Um, I don't think this is one of the hills. No. We need an ore hill, basically, which is a hill that contains a bunch of resources and things like that that we want to find. However, we definitely don't want to go in there because that's progression towards uh, Twilight Forest, which is cool and all. But right now I'm just here for the ores. So I just need to actually I think I saw the biome where it spawns in that mountain thing. I think I saw it over here somewhere. Not the mountain itself, but the biome. Yes, this biome. Oh, hello. Yeah, that's also towards uh, Twilight Forest progression. Got some houses down there. That's cool. Oh, wow. That's creepy. That's just creepy. That's two of these right next to each other. That's kind of cool. However, I'm not seeing the thing that I need the most. Yeah, that, that's not it either. Oh, traveling with hover mode on is way faster. It's basically just flight. <laughs> there we go. I think that is potent. No, that's way too small. That can't be it. That simply cannot be it. I mean, we'll check it out. I mean, it could be. Could you not? Could you just not? Let's check it out. It could be. I doubt it. But let's check it out. Oh, wait a minute. It is. Okay. Then the one right next to our portal might be one too. Okay. Uh, I want to make sure I can actually get out of here. Because things can get kind of rough in here. But yeah, we got a bunch of ores in here. Which is really cool. However, it is also a tiny or can be a little bit dangerous. But this is one of the places... Or it could be the place. Actually, it's way smaller than what it could be. Ooh. XP Etrified Ore. Cool. But yeah, that, that's a lot of ores and resources here. So all we need to do, basically, is start digging. Okay, yeah, this thing is a tiny version of the thing that I, the original thing that I was actually looking for. Now all the modium can be rare, and you gotta oh, you gotta look closely. I don't really need the other ores because like I'm generating copper and iron and aluminum and whatnot just fine. But finding this all the modium could be a tricky process. Found a spawner though, which we definitely want to take out. We're generating aluminum as well. Those ghosts, they're freaking me out. I'm just going to have a look around here and see if I can find what we're looking for. Oh, this is good, though. I think this is from Planet Logistics. Could you not? Just, just don't. I mean, it could be hiding in the ceilings and whatnot. I might try and go and find the bigger version of this thing. I will grab this, though, because that I think that'll be useful or could be. Uh, dimensional shadow. Yeah, sure. Why not? 
grab some. I don't know how difficult it is to get otherwise. Keep hitting the wrong button here. Ooh, quest completed? Where? Applied energy six. Oh! Okay, that's cool. I mean, I definitely want to get into Applied Energy 6 at some point. So that's awesome. Here we go. This is what I was looking for. This thing is a whole lot bigger. Also more dangerous. But this should be a bigger success. Yeah, this is more like it. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop in here, actually. Oh, okay, that's going to be an issue. And just start placing some ores down. Uh, torches, I should say. Because, yeah, it, this I will need to clear it. As you can hear, there are some creatures and spiders and spawners and whatnot. So I'm going to get to work clearing some of this out. And hopefully we'll be able to find some of the stuff we're looking for. What's this? Viridium. I don't know what that is, but... That could be, could be valuable. It's a spawner. Definitely want to take that out. Out, poison. This is a problem. Kinda hurt right now. <laughs> I need to be more careful. Yeah, as you can see, this place is a lot bigger than what we had before. So I think I'm just gonna start spamming this place with torches. I just gotta be careful of those tiny spiders because they hurt a lot. Almost worse than cave spiders, to be honest. And when I see one, I must terminate. What was that? Hmm. Interesting. I think a good idea tackling one of these places is going around the edges and just lighting up as much as possible and then start working your way in towards the center. Ooh, anything? A bow. I mean, I don't have a bow currently, so that is actually a pretty good find. I just found something. Don't know how good it is. It should have better armor than the diamond? Huh. I mean, I'll take it. Now, so far I haven't found any old modium when I have been flying around trying to clear this area. Uh, again, it looks like this. So it, could like, it looks kind of like a gold ore. I think it illuminates a little bit of light as well. Um, but I'm just going to try and mine around a little bit and see... If something will reveal itself, hopefully it will. I mean, there's plenty of other types of ores, so if that is something we needed, well, this is a pretty good way of getting it. I found some after a little bit of uh, <laughs> vein mining through this. Finally found some. I don't know how much this is. Hopefully it's a good amount. Um... I'm gonna definitely take some of this stuff back. Uh, don't know how much of this is actually useful. You know what, let's just grab everything that we can. All right, all the modium ore. Let's break this. I don't know if we'll get the ore itself or a chunk of it. Let's see. Okay. We get a chunk of it, which we can still crush down. So we didn't lose anything from not getting the ore in itself. That's our very first all the modium. And I think that was just one ore. So it is findable. It is definitely obtainable here. Okay, I'm completely out of food. My netherite pack and paxel is also about to break. So what I'm going to do is go back home and then we can actually use this oldimadium ore to make vibranium right here. No, wait, that's not it. Uh, where is that? This oldimadium powder which we can then turn into calcinated powder. And then we can get all the modium site, which is basically so we can see all the modium ores uh, in the world, but with an outline, basically x-ray. Uh, so that is what I want to make so we can get as much of this stuff as possible. I'm going to head home. If I can possibly find the exit. Um, you know what? Easiest way of getting out. Probably just stick in a straight line here. Now, it's a bit of a process. All the modium powder, what we need to do to get this is get an all the modium ingot together with a pestle and a Mozart and also and a powder. Now, we haven't actually gotten any Enderman yet, so we can't do this specific thing. However, 
Because we went to the nether, we are now able to make the Philosopher's Stone from Project E. Because we got gunpowder, we can get blaze powder, and then we can get... Well, we have we have the gold right here. Um, oh, we all... I forgot we get blaze powder from this thing. And the gunpowder. Anyway, let's... Um, uh, yes. Um, yes. Yes, Philosopher's Stone, first thing from Project E. There, there we go. See, we're moving up in the world. Uh, so now all I need to do is basically grab some iron, put that together with the Philosopher, and there we go. End of pearl. See? Easy. Told you. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we can go ahead and make a mortar, and then we will need a pestle, which is a diamond, and two quartz, which is very, very easy, thanks to this right here. Some quartz, diamond, uh, where's it? There we go, pestle. There we go. So all we need to do now is basically crush this down with the hammer so we get two dust. Then we need to cook those two dust. And there we got our very first all the modium, just like so. And now we just need to end dust. So we do this, and then we do this. And now we use this in, po in a potion or we actually need to make a mundane potion. This, first we need to cook it. I'm, I'm all over the place. I'm, I'm hyped for this. There we go, calcinated all the modium powder, and with this, we can go ahead and make all the modium site. However, we need some mundane potions, and to get that, we can just use water bottles and a spider eye, which is easy. So, use a blaze rod from the fortress that we visited earlier. Brewing sand, just like so, and I'm gonna place this right there. Oh, more side potions. Does it know what I'm up to? <laughs> Does it know what I'm up to here? I forgot you need to add blaze powder for the fuel thing. So while that does that job. Yep, there we go. Wait, I got a potion from this? Oh, wow. Okay, I, did, I didn't think that would be a thing. But it was... Interesting. And I get a gold side. Okay, gold. We, we have more than enough. And we got some more all the modium dust. And a nugget. So look at that. And a coal side. Don't really need those, but very, very, very fancy. <laughs> that is most welcome. Uh, what is this? Phantom charm. Ooh. So we don't have to sleep? Okay, that, that's kind of cool. I need to remember that I have that because that, that's cool. And I'm gonna make, I think, a separate chest just for these all the modium things right here because they are special. I wish I could make like a. I guess I could make a gold chest. For now, though, I'll place it up here. Boom. Done. But now with the mundane potions, we can put this in and we should get all the modium side. And you can actually make a bunch of these sides, like lapis side, emerald side, silver side, all of this stuff right here are basically side potions. And I think, I wonder if we can put redstone in it? No, we cannot put redstone in it to extend the time. You know what, that makes sense. It's already a little bit overpowered as it is. <laughs> I will not complain though. So, I got 10 minutes in total of this, this should be plenty. Um, do I have, yes, that should be fine to visit the hill again. Now. I'll see you back at the hill a again. Let's do this engine on, hover on, and let. Ooh, that's a chain. Let's go. Oh wow. Yep. Frames calm down. So now I'm here. If I drink this, if I get near any all the modium, it should light up very nicely for me. So I'm gonna take my time to walk around here. And definitely be wary of my surroundings because some could show. Oh, basically anywhere. I forgot to I forgot to repair my pastel. That's kind of annoying. Oh boy. I can also fly near the top here to see if anything will show. However, it is kind of difficult to look up and walk around at the same time. I mean, it could be a very sad situation that we don't have any more all the modium in this place. Which, if that's the case, we'll just have to find another place to go mining again. But just want to make sure this entire thing is checked before we leave. Oh, would you look at that? 
Right there, and there, and there. Ooh, okay. Okay, this is good. This is good right here. Okay, so if I mine towards it, I don't want to overuse my pastel here. Because I believe you do need netherite in order to mine this. So there we go. Two more pieces of all the modium right there. We got four more over there and two ores here. Yep, this is definitely the way to go. And look at this. There's some more right there as well. I just need to make my way over there before... Ah, it goes out now. Okay, I think I'll be able to find them. Just based on from where they are. Or where they were. But even if not, I may want to pop another one. Just to make sure I don't miss anything. There we go. A four. Vein one. Oh wow, it was even visible from down here. And I missed it. Wow. Now my pastel is about to break, so I might not be able to get a whole lot more of this, which is sad. Do we get any more around here? I wonder if that's it. I see three more over here. don't know if those are the ones that I just took. It's not. Oh, it is. That was such a disappointment. <laughs> oh, we do have four more over here, though. Four more right here. Come on, Paxel. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. Here we go. Four more. Oop. What? I thought I had... Oh, that was hover. Well, I, I thought my jetpack was on. That could have been bad. Twelve more minutes of old modium site. Do we see any more in this area? I think... Yeah, I didn't take this. Okay. I should be able to grab this as well. Okay, it just stopped, but I should be able to find it. There we go. Four more blocks. And there could potentially be more. But I mean, 19 all the modium more. That's going to turn into... What? Almost... Okay, not a, not an entire stack. 40-something? 20, 29, 30-something. 30, 30 That's not too bad. I think I'm going to save the other all the modium site for... Another ore hill. This right here was a pretty good haul. I'm very happy. Now to complete this ore hammer, 19 all the modium turns into 38 all the modium dust. And I don't think we can quote unquote duplicate this any further. So what we should probably just do is smelt it. So we can actually use it. Now I think to end off the episode, because we saw how much damage I took in the fortress, I think we should go ahead and make some brand new armor. And just because this armor is absolutely ridiculous. Because look at this. Indestructible. It will never break. Piglins become neutral. And immune to all... Okay, so this one has water breathing. No crash damage while flying with an elytra. This has immune to all damage sources using fire and lava. Piglins become neutrals. And no fall damage. Meaning, with my jetpack... If I turn the engine on... Whee! Nothing. Nothing happens. Also, it looks sick. I mean, the armor looks sick. What did I just see? What? Ooh. Is that... Is that supposed to happen? Or am I missing something? Also, of course, we got a bunch of quest unlocks. Ooh, we got vibranium from this. Okay, that's useful. We'll get to that later in the game as well. But guys, with that, I think we're going to call this an episode. I'm sorry, it's a little bit... Probably a little bit long. Um, but yeah... Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications if you haven't done so yet. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye.